Eddie was in a certain mood, and I, and I was quite cocky when I got my first Rolls Royce as well. Um, but but the, the disposition and the attitude and the outlook, Eddie was being a little bit disingenuous in my view. If there is a genuine injury, which to say there is, right? Let's put aside the cynical view that there isn't, right? Yeah. Then, then the argument would be that the fight gets made for another date in a couple of months' time, and everybody gets pushed back down the line a little bit. I.e., Fury. The Fury WBC mandatory fight happens maybe in April and May, mm. not March. And the Joshua fight, if he were to win, that everyone's waiting for, which Eddie's waiting for, which is the payday opportunity, gets pushed back into September, October. Yeah. So if there was a genuity about fighting Otto Wallin, you'd suggest that contractually, as Eddie quite rightly said, and, and quite glibly, it's up to us if we give him another fight. And we're not going to. Yeah. And, we, and you're not going to give him another fight. A, because it's a dangerous one and you recognise it's dangerous. And B, because a bigger payday has found itself an opportunity. That's a bottom line. There's, there's a morality yeah, issue about that. And it also does steer into the narrative. And I'm a great believer in Dillian White will take any fight that he's available for him to take. But not if there's a WBC world title fight. This is the first time opportunity. And we go to Frank, what Frank Warren talked about, Dillian White's lack of opportunities. And he said maybe he should look at his promoters as the mm. reason why he hasn't a world title shot in three yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. And you look at it now and say, Hang on, there's a world title fight in the offing, which is going to dwarf any paycheck that Absolutely. Eddie's going to get for Wally. Well, yeah. Wallen's chances oh, listen, come and gone at, through no fault of his own. One hundred percent. This is, you know, that, that, that's what we're saying. It's the way it's the way that it works. You know, we've seen with Tyson with, with the Anthony Joshua situation with the Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury now coming out. See, Tyson Fury is the one that's holding all the cards. He says. I'm fighting in, say, if he's fighting in March or whether it's April, it's going to be springtime. So when Tyson Fury says he's fighting there. That's the fight that's going to happen. And if it's not Dillian White, it will be someone else. So if Dillian White decides to box Otto Wallin, even if he wins a fight but picks up an injury in doing so, his opportunity might disappear again. That's what I'm saying. So, so look, it's... It, I, There's I, something I, I, rotten in the state of Denmark, or in, in Otto Wallin's case, say Sweden, because he's missing out on an opportunity. He is. Because yeah. if there was a genuity to fight Wallin, they could reschedule and everyone could be made to make yeah. it. There's too much risk in this fight. They've they've done a risk analysis, and you can't blame them. I thought it was a you high risk, a, a high risk, low reward fight anyway. Like taking Otto Wallin, even if the situation stayed as it was, and and you know, and they'd already Joshua. taken Wallin. See what his yeah. argument is is that he became a WPC mandatory challenger, but he'd already taken Wallin. The Usyk Joshua a fight becomes a different dynamic. But did you not think that was a dangerous fight to take in the first place? I but thought the, that but was But that's a what crazy he does do. But, but the fact is, the matter is that the, the world had changed and the world had turned. I know yeah. Eddie was saying, well, it, it, we, we found out that the WBC mandatory was after the um, Usyk Joshua fight, so it was not relevant. That's Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.